Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's do, I'm gonna do a bonus reading for you guys. I wanna see what's going on. I wanna see who you're dealing with, what type of person you're dealing with and what you're dealing with, okay? In love and relationships, okay? All right, my loves, I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated appreciate it if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so that way you'll get notified anytime i upload any new video footages but also that way i'm able to tug on your energy okay guys please remember only take what's yours leave everything else behind if you would like a personal reading my website's information is down in the description below that's the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading ask any questions buy any crystals or tarot or oracle decks okay all right my loves i do call on the holy spirit i call on the white light that guides us i call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us show me spirit show me what i need to see for my virgos let's see who is my virgos dealing with who is my virgos dealing with spirit gifts somebody that feels you're pretty special for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that feels that you're pretty special. Somebody, I feel like this is an energy of somebody thinking about a lot of good times that you've had with them. For some of you guys, this could be somebody that, that used to shower you with gifts. You could have showered this person with gifts and or this person could want to come towards you with something i do see that a lot of you guys you have somebody here that is really and truly nostalgic about times that you've had together some fun times that you've had together for some of you guys this could just be someone that you've had a lot of good times with a lot of good times with i feel like for a lot of you guys this is somebody that feels like you're pretty special yeah new love all right so a lot of you guys this is new love a lot of you guys this is new love and you know what i just got in which I like. I like this. For some of you guys, you, you're dealing with somebody right now, present moment. They make you feel, they make you feel special. It's a different type of feeling. I just got an overall energy. Like it's a different type of feeling. Show me spirit. For some of you guys, you got some new love coming in. Like you're about to meet somebody new. Family. All right, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that has a family or that you have a family with. And I'm getting long distance. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here that is distant with you. This person already has a family. This person already has a family. For some of you guys, you may not know this. Because you and this person, y'all could be having like a long distance relationship. It could be somebody you met online or somebody. I'm also getting someone that you could have bumped, like you could have bumped into this person, like at an airport or like you met this person while traveling, something like that. And you could not know that this person already has a family. Yeah. For some of you guys, the person you're dealing with right now, present moment is your husband or your wife or somebody that you have children with. This person is being very distant with you. You're trying to figure out, there's something about this connection. It's like you're trying to figure out what's going on here. Like you're trying to figure out this person. Yeah, this person has something going on. I'm getting an energy for a lot of you guys. You're, you, have, you have a lot of spiritual growth. Whereas you're changing, you're evolving. But I'm getting your partner is not. That's for some of you guys. Like... If I'm also, I, I just got like, for some of you guys, if you've been dealing with somebody that has some type of addiction, like an obsessive, uh, an obsessiveness with you, or they have an addiction with alcohol, drugs, gambling, um, I'm getting a very codependent energy right here. I'm, I'm really and truly getting a very codependent energy. It's like, you want this person to change because you're changing. You're changing in, like right in front of this person's eyes. This person is not even truly noticing. You don't feel noticed. You don't feel noticed, but you've noticed something different about this person. For some of you guys, you're wondering if this person has relapsed or this person is doing something that they that they used to do because it's not your first time dealing with this. No, not your first time dealing with this as I'm seeing 444 on this clock. Let's see. Who's this? Show me gifts. 
Wow. Okay. Occupation. So for some of you guys, this person that feels that you're pretty special is someone that you work with. Hmm. For some of you guys, there's somebody here that feels that you're pretty special and they could be offering you a job. They could really and truly be offering you a job. Some of you guys, you could have just gone on an interview this past week and the person that interviewed you is, is quite fond, quite fond. I feel like they're doing some type of investigation on you. Yeah, they're quite fond. Show me fun times. Show me fun times. Wealthy man. So I see a lot of you guys having some fun times with somebody that's wealthy, whether it's a divine feminine or divine masculine. This is somebody that's that's endowed, well endowed. This is someone here that they've built up a, re, a reserve for themselves. They've done well for themselves. This is somebody that's responsible, but somebody here that likes to shower, like somebody here that likes to have fun. I like that energy. I'm getting a relatively new energy though. Give me new love. Judic judic judication. So for some of you guys, you could be exiting a relationship, a connection. You could truly be exiting a relationship, a connection, a marriage, and there's somebody new coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you could have just undergone a divorce and met someone new, or you could be undergoing a divorce. Show me family. Wow. Expectation. Somebody is expecting... For some of you guys, like you're married and you're pregnant right now, present moment. You're married and you're and you're pregnant right now. I also got like for some of you guys, like you're not you're expecting something. I got that I think yesterday morning in some of you guys in, in someone's energy. This is not some this is not a whole bunch of you guys. It's like one one of you guys. Like somebody sold you false hope. Whatever you were expecting, because I'm getting like someone traveling somewhere to, with some type of expectation to truly be with someone, to start a new life, however this goes. And this person, they're not all that, that it's cracked up to be. Like this person got some stuff with them. This person has some secrets. This person, this person, I, I, this person, I. I want to say narcissist, but I want to say this person's crazy, but I also just want to say this person is just not a nice person because anybody that's going to make somebody give up their life on false hope, false pretenses is not a good person. That's kind of what I'm getting in that energy, but I'm definitely getting some deception. I'm getting some deception. That's someone else. That's someone else. And that message is meant for someone. Show me long distance. But I feel like you intuitively, like, even though you're willing to, like, kind of drop everything and go to this person, I feel like your intuitions is, there's something nagging at you. But you're still trying to hold the hope. You're still holding on to hope. Toil labor. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are, didn't, I see some, some money coming in for you guys. Some unexpected money coming in for a lot of you guys. But... And it could be with your work. With all honesty, this, unex this unexpected money could could come with work. Like getting a job, getting a promotion, getting a bonus, like getting just an extra sum of money. And I feel like it's through your current job or a new job. Like the fact that you're getting a new job is going to bring in that extra money. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys. Now, I do see that for some of you guys, there's someone here that you work with. And I feel like you could have had a little fling thing with this person or you could be. But all of a sudden, this person is acting funny with you. All of a sudden, this person is starting to act a little distant with you. We're going to see what's going on here. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos and the person that they're dealing with. Codependent addiction. See, I said that. Some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that's very codependent, somebody that's very obsessive. Somebody that you that you got block. Like you got somebody blocked. Somebody has a restraining order on someone here. Someone put a restraining order on someone that they, they exited a relationship with or they're divorcing. This You have somebody new. 
you have somebody new and that person is not liking that that person is not liking that like for some of you guys this person could be showing up to your house drunk your job like i feel like this person like this person has i feel like for some of you guys you've had to block this person you've had to put a restraining order on this person because this person was doing too much this person was doing too much for some of you guys this person could truly have an addiction and you could be this person's addiction you could definitely be this person's addiction show me spirit We have love calling the chaser. Someone expresses love. Somebody's going to be contacting you to, to tell you how they feel about you. Somebody just really and truly like I'm not even telling you like this phone call because I when I'm, I'm feeling this energy like it's almost like a sad energy. It really and truly is. Why? Because this is somebody that don't have you. This is somebody that you're not even interested in being with. This is somebody that don't have you. You're not interested in being with this person, but this person loves you. This person loves you. This person, I feel like somebody's going to be calling you. And like for some of you guys, this person's going to be calling you like in tears because it's really upsetting to them. It's really upsetting to them. Like you can receive a text message or a phone call from this person. This person's going to start off like they're thinking about you, but they're going to like, well, you're going to be a little standoff is a little distant from this person. And this person ain't going to like that. They're not going to like that. We have the chaser, chaser, codependent. For some of you guys like, yeah. I'm getting a real strong feeling here. Fear of abandonment issues. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys, you're dealing with someone here that is obsessed with you. You could have a family with this person. And I feel like for some of you guys, what's driving this person crazy right now, present moment, is the fact that you're moving on with someone else. Like, I'm hearing like it's not fair. Oh, Lord. I don't need all that. Let's Let's try that again. Like, I'm, I'm really and truly hearing like it's not fair. This person doesn't feel like it's fair. I'm hearing like this person would change. Like this person, I'm not saying would change. I'm hearing like this person might say, because that's exactly what I'm hearing. It's like this person might say that they've changed or they may cry and be like, I will change. I can't say that's to be true though. But I feel like for somebody here, as I'm like, something's trying to shut me up. Like, I feel like for somebody here, it's like you've heard that before. Like you've heard that before. Show me spirit. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Somebody is, yeah, some of you guys, you're falling in love with someone new. Some of you guys, you're falling in love with someone new. But you know what the thing about it is? Your heart, engagement ring, yeah love at the bottom of the deck i do like that energy i do like that energy but i feel like for some of you guys this past person that loves you your heart really does feel for this person because you do love this person but you, i don't get that you like you can't you can't get you can't put yourself it's like I, it's like not you can't go that you can't go down that again like go that way again i'm getting a strong energy for a lot of you guys there is someone <clears throat> for a lot of you guys there's someone new Someone new, like someone here that is treating you right or someone that will treat you right. For some of you guys, I see you getting engaged, falling in love. There's four confirmation cards of here on this board about you falling in love, someone falling in love with you. And this is relatively new or new coming in. But you still got a past person's energy here. You still got a past person's energy here. And, it, and with all honesty, like there's some unconditional love here. And I, I get a phone call for a lot of you guys, somebody truly telling you that they love you. And I do feel this person's energy. Like this person does love you. Like it's kind of like an oh so sad. Because they do, they do. For some of you guys, you were married to this person. You have children with this person. Show me spirit. I just heard somebody say like, I don't care so sad for them huh. show me spirit who has this addiction who has this addiction for my Virgos oh wow we have the devil 
<laughs> spirit's so funny i'm so serious somebody that is really obsessed like you can't like i can't even make this energy up like you could be dealing with a capricorn like but i also just got for somebody here you somebody got some sexual addiction for you like somebody is obsessed with the sex yeah it could definitely be a capricorn and the thing about it is it's big energy it's not it's like it's big energy and this person this person has options like this person has options for some of you guys you're dealing with somebody really and truly that is so this person has options but they're so dependent on you they're so dependent on your energy they're so dependent on your energy we have the emperor aries energy this could be a, a, a father figure an older gentleman like could definitely be an aries or a capricorn for some of you guys this person could be your boss for some of you guys this person could be your boss or this person could be a boss like somebody that owns their own business this is somebody that normally gets their way like this person that's addicted to you this person this person normally gets their way and they not liking that like they normally get their way show me spirit two of pentacles somebody that's juggling huh somebody that's juggling but you know this person I, I get an energy if this person can't have you or if this person doesn't get their way they could be a bit much look at that look at this card like if this person doesn't get their way like the thing about it is that's somebody you got you doing that's somebody that has a lot of nerve for some of you guys this person could have been juggling you they could have had they could have to choose between you and somebody else the lovers yeah this person had a choice but this person also fell in love with you this person has a choice could be a gemini but this person actually fell in love with you but look at that storm brewing in the back like th this person is raging for some of you guys the person that that is really addicted to you like this person is raging like they have some raging emotions but you know the thing about it is i'm also getting like for some of you guys this person may be in love with you but this person's emotions itself is unstable like this is giving me an energy of someone here that doesn't that's not too sure like this person is not too sure like that's why you're a choice that's why this person's been juggling that's why i'm like okay this person doesn't like this because this person could have emotions their emotions are all over the place their emotions is with you and with another and with themselves they're driving themselves crazy like this person is driving themselves crazy knight of swords yeah there's no action here though there's no action this person could definitely be blocked there's some there's something blocking this person from actually taking action towards you libra gemini aquarius energy there is something blocking this person from communicating with you there is something that or something or someone but it's blocking this person from communicating with you blocking this person from um taking action towards you what's blocking this person what's blocking this person spirit seven of wands somebody that wants to fight for what's theirs Th this is somebody else that feels like this person is theirs queen of chalice that's your queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy yeah yeah for some of you guys it's this person themselves that's blocking their feelings and their emotions they're fighting it's an in it's an internal battle for some of you guys this is an internal battle this person that's so obsessed with you it's an internal battle that's blocking them from truly coming towards you from truly coming towards you they definitely could have someone else here could definitely have someone else in this energy all right let's see what's this new love what's this new love nine of pentacles oh i like that so you're dealing with somebody here that this person is coming towards you correct this is somebody that's single could be somebody that's been single for a while this is an independent player here and i'm saying player but this is like a, a board game like you know what i'm saying like it's this person is independent this person is abundant this person take care can take care of themselves and they can take care of you 
two. We have the world. This could definitely be somebody that's manifesting a whole new life. Definitely be somebody that's manifesting a whole new life with you. This is somebody that has closed out their shit. Like they've closed out or they're closing out. They're finalizing old stuff so they can have a new life with you. Yeah. Show me spirit. We have the Empress. Look at that. A divine counterpart. This is a divine counterpart. A divine counterpart. Somebody here that's loving and nurturing. Somebody here that wants to build. This is somebody here that wants to build. For some of you, for someone here, this person could actually be having a baby for you or get pregnant for you. But this is somebody that this person has some nice energy. Card down. Give me a sec. We have the seven of pentacles. So this is somebody here that that wants to invest. Huh. This is definitely somebody here that wants to invest. This is somebody that's in it for the long haul. But you know the thing about it is this person has this person has some things. Like this person's been through some things. This person here, this person's been through some things. For some of you guys, this person will follow you at the, to the ends of the world. This new person would follow you to the ends of the world. This person sees you. Like this person sees you. This person adores you. This person will adore you. But I feel like for some of you guys, this person could have, this person could have some sensitive emotions. Like this person could have things, there's things in their shadow. There's things like, even though this person may have closed out cycles, you see this? I love these cards. I don't use them very often, but I love these cards because the illustrations are so freaking phenomenal. Like whoever made these cards, I wish I could meet them one day. <laughs> but I really and truly feel like this is somebody that, yes, they're, they're, they're in it for the long haul. They really, they, they're willing to put in the work. But you're, I feel like you're going to have to be patient with this person because this person has... Ba this person is coming with baggage. I'm not truly saying emotional baggage, but this person has things from their past that is kind of following, kind of lingering. Show me spirit. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but this person can offer you a stable foundation. This person is loyal and dependable and hardworking. Yeah, it could be an, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. Now, for some of you guys, this person, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So you're going to, like, I feel like if you are not in a relationship, there's a relationship that's moving in towards you very um, swiftly, very swiftly. If you're, if you just met someone new, I see a lot of communication between you and this person. I do. I see a lot of communication coming in. But I also get for some of you guys, this new person, this person works a lot. That may be an issue for some of you guys. That just may be an issue for some of you guys because this person really and truly focuses a lot of time and energy in work. Like this person puts a lot of time and energy in work. And I feel like that's that there's a need for you to be patient with this person because all of this energy here is telling me that this person, like they do put work before family. Like this person, I feel like this person can give you the world, but... It's like sometimes you're going to have to bring this person back to world, to, to life. Bring them back down. It's like bring you back down to earth. Like, okay, I'm, I'm going to need you to pull yourself together. I'm going to need you to snap out of it. Because this person's work, business, career, like that's very, very important to this person. Yeah. For some of you guys, this, this could be some issues that this person is like that in itself could be issues that this person has dealt with in the past. And it's coming like it's still lingering here. They may actually voice that to you. They may actually voice that to you. All right, let's see. Show me spirit. This past person, the person that's obsessed with my Virgos. What does this person want to say to my Virgos? I feel you even though we are apart. See that? This person feels you even though you're apart. Like, that's the craziest thing. And I feel like that's what's effing with this person. Like, that's what, that's what really is messing with this person's minds. I know that I crossed the line with you. Like this person knows they screwed up. Like I'm hearing it, like even in their tears, I'm hearing it like this person knows they screwed up. But I feel like for some of you guys, this person just can't help it. Like they're, they're, they're very emotional. Like you're dealing with somebody that was very, very emotional. 
Yeah. Like, you know, a little kid that throws a tantrum in the middle of the mall and you'd be like, if you don't get your ass up. <laughs> That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Show me spirits. Show me the new person's energy. Give me what the new person wants to say. You were the best thing in my life. So you have this new person. Like, even if you're not with somebody right now, present moment, somebody that's relatively new, you could be on a pause with this person. I feel like this person knows, like, you're something good. I feel like, and if this is somebody new, this person's going to know that you're something good. They're going to know you're something good. I lost myself for a little while. Uh huh. I feel like this. I wish things could be different for some of you guys. This new person, I'm starting to understand our connection. I feel like for some of you guys, this new person, you could truly be in time out with this new person. Like you, you guys, you will know, you will know how things resonate. Y'all let me know in the comments, but I feel like somebody has been acting funny with you. Somebody has been acting a little distant with you and you may not know why. And I just feel like it's unexplainable like this person don't know why they're acting the way they're acting either like this person doesn't know why either it's like this person is scared of their own shadow you're dealing with a lot of emotional individuals a lot of emotional individuals show me spirit let's see what spirits advice for you guys show me what I need to see Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is own, it is truly sacred. Somebody really and truly feels like the union between you and them, whether it's covenant or not, like that union is very, very true. I'm hearing very true. And then we have sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for their will for for there you will find true bliss. So somebody here, I'm telling you, somebody, like you have some true energy here with someone. I'm getting one or two different individuals, but you have some true, true, true energy here. True energy. All right, my loves, if any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. I do love every last one of you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye, guys.